So go out. Try again. There we go. Got it. You want to hold on to that. It could fall over on its own. Again, if it falls over, it'll shatter. Should be shattered. What? My wife's looking at me funny. How many you know that song? It's the Rolling Stones. Here's the tough part about getting this. I'm holding it with a hand, and I got the washer and the nut. So I reach under there with one hand. I feed the washer. You can't see what I'm doing. I can't see what I'm doing, obviously. I'm doing it by feel. And then I got to position the nut. It's a little tricky. I could lay on my back and do it. But I really don't feel like laying on this bathroom floor. Plus I'm 50. I wouldn't get up easily. You're 51 today. Oh, that's right. 51. Sorry. My wife reminded me. Side. I let go of it because I have that nut on there. It's not going to go anywhere, even though it's not tight yet. You can kind of see what I do with my hand here, using my thumb to get it started on that nut. Now, one other thing that's tricky is I'm upside down. The bolt's upside down. And because it's upside down, I got to turn it what would normally be. So I'm turning it this way. It's would normally be the way to loosen it, but it's because it's upside down. It seems opposite. So we're just gonna make that finger tight. Same thing on the other side. And we probably won't need a wrench. It smells great, doesn't it? Yeah. The reason why it still stinks is there's no water in the toilet. So that gas smell comes right up, the sewer gas, right up into the house. So I'm pushing down on this side. And now I'm going to push down on this side. That's why that gas gets rubber. That might need a wrench on it, but I doubt it. Pretty good. So we'll put this right there. It's supposed to have some wiggle. Yeah, it's got to have some move. A little bit of move. Not stiff. Let's be honest with you. The reason why it's got to have a little move is it would shatter. But you also want it stiff enough so when you lean the toilet against it, you're sitting. Yeah, you know, think about it. I know it's a little gross when you're sitting in the toilet. People lean back, so nice and stiff, but not too stiff. So that's that part. So like I said, I had to run to the depot and get some water lines. If you remember the water line at the beginning, it was one that was made for that toilet. So we just got ones that are flexible. And all I'm looking for is one that's long enough. This one would do it nicely. So that end is Three eighths, and this I'm going to tear the label off. There's a toilet boy, toilet tank. That's just for toilets. That's it. The water lines inside of a sink are different. They're like this on both ends. Okay, and that's a compression fitting. So I don't need. There's a washer built in there. You can kind of see it, the black thing. So when I tighten this, as I tighten it, it seals itself. The same thing there. You can see the black thing in there. That's also a washer. This one you tighten by hand, whereas this one gets tightened with a wrench. So we're on the last part, which is to put the new water line on. Just tighten that by hand. This valve probably could have been replaced. It's been leaking the whole time that it's been off, but that's just because the valve doesn't shut the water off completely, which 
if it was a house where I was worried about the water, I would have replaced that valve. <clears throat> but in this bathroom, as you can see, it's all tile. It's not going anywhere. So make that nice and tight. I don't need to get crazy. That rubber gasket that's inside of there is actually tightening up against that fitting. And then I take the other end. That feels good. When I say it feels good, the threads are not hard. In other words, they're nice and smooth. So let's tighten that up. Literally, literally, this gets tightened by hand. Now I got 51 year old old man strength hands, so I get it nice and tight. So now we look for leaks. But it's got to fill up. Open the valve all the way. It's filling up inside there. And you should look at the directions now that it's all together. Sometimes there's parts that. That's the warranty. 